All right. Let's talk about the Idaho Potato Bowl. And that would be one Wyoming Cowboys against the Kent State Golden Flashes. Now, Sean Lewis, I, I kind of expected a little more from Sean Lewis this year uh, with Dustin Crum coming back. They had a lot of guys back. They did play in the MAC Championship, but they kind of got embarrassed by an NIU team that statistically makes absolutely no sense. And we'll we'll kind of recap the Cure Bowl and a few other things here momentarily, but uh, Kent State just it hasn't, hasn't made a lot of sense to me. If you look at strength of schedule, like Wyoming... They have not fared well against some pretty bad competition, but they have shown up in some spots. I mean, they showed up enough to get to a bowl game, I guess. And they do feel like the better team in this position, right? Because they are playing in Idaho. They they are comfortable there. Let me go through the... Ah, so the gifts on this, gift suite. And now this is at Albertson Stadium in Boise, Idaho. Uh, I hate the gift suite thing. Like, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, give me a grab bag. Like, why wouldn't you just give people, like, a, uh, a gift card to go wherever they want to pick out whatever? Because if you give them a gift suite, that's so stupid. I hate that. Hate it. Uh, but either way. So, Kent State, 1-6 and six against the spread their last seven as an underdog. Uh, they are 5-2 and two against the spread off of a straight-up loss. The biggest thing here, Wyoming is going to have their big-time linebacker, uh, their Buckus finalist, Chad Muma and I hope I say that right, they are not going to have their big-time defense back, their nickel back, uh, Keon Blankenbaker, and they're not going to have their defensive line coach. Now, they've still got Craig Bowl, and he understands how to win football games, especially in the cold, and it's supposed to be cold in Boise. So, Kent State, are they going to be able to do a lot of the things that they want on offense? They've not been very explosive all year. If you're not explosive against Wyoming, I don't know that you can win the ball game because these two teams, talent-wise, I think are very similar. So... While I would expect, I would expect points. The total here is fifty nine. I might would stay away from the total, but I I'm going to take Wyoming. I I think that they are a team that can run the football if they want to, and and they can certainly run it all over Kent State. I, I think they can take the same blueprint that Northern Illinois did against them in the MAC championship game, where they basically just ran. And, and ran clock, etc. That's what I would expect them to do in this one. So I'm going to roll with Wyoming in this one. Wyoming minus the three. Again, go and check out the Bet US show. I talk in depth about it. The, the guys that I work with, Parker and Kyle, they do as well. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, that is the 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time game on Tuesday. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.